Hey Taurus, welcome to your pop reading. I'm doing your reading today. It's just a quick read to give us more insights for today for you. All right. Also, I have a new tarot deck, so let's give this a spin. What do we have for Taurus? To everybody, I hope you're all staying well and taking care of yourselves. Hydrate yourselves, drink a lot of water, and stay active, even at home. All right. What do we have for Taurus? Let's see. These are quick reads, guys. So I also have my weekly Love Connections WLC reading, and that's going to come out every Friday. So watch out for those. But these are just pop reads within the week. Okay. Tell us more about Taurus Love Connections. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Jupiter in love. You have the Ten of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Page of Wands, the Hierophant, um, the Sun, the Hangman, let me see, the Knight of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the King of Cups. All right, Taurus. All right. And so I'm looking at this. Um, this connection could likely be um, in a marriage or in a, con in a commitment, you know, a, a founded commitment. Um, an exclusive commitment even or this could very well be a an energy for both people who are wanting to have a firm foundation of their love or um, a relationship you can call it okay for you Taurus I see that there's been some form of understanding here of um, with regards to this connection you're pretty traditional in the sense that you want to you want to do exactly um, what you think is needed to keep this connection stable. At the same time, you want to be able to receive what you think is deserved here to keep the relationship stable. So there is an element here of wanting to be in balanced. Um, to be in balance, that means uh, you want balance, give and take, um, the tra in the traditional sense. So, however, that means to you okay this could likely also be about um, a connection that you have where you may be in a relationship with someone but it feels like there is stability in terms of a love or a um, relationship structure that means you may be living together or marriage uh, you know married and being in, in under the same roof but it feels like there is lack of emotional support, lack of emotional fulfillment as of this time frame. There could be some things that you are doing or the other person is doing that is not fulfilling for each other, you know, in a connection. It could be that the other person is expecting a lot or there are some level of expectations from another person, but you are not able to give it or you're not able to heed whatever they've been saying. And that can go vice versa, okay? But there is a lack of um, emotional fulfillment here or happiness or even, you know, expression of love or just being happy and in love. There is the lack of it for this connection, although you may be living together, although you may be in the same roof together, something like that I see. Mm-hmm. But you're going through the process here. This could be for those of you who are in the same roof and um, working from home. You get to see each other 24 hours a day and um, you're beginning to really get to know each other every single minute of the day. And that you're beginning to see that, you know, you should do this and that or I should do this and that. You should be happy with, when I do this and that. So all those shoulds and woulds, you know, in, in, in a... Um, interaction with one another and things are becoming more clear to you 
what are the things that are making you happy and what are the things that are not making you happy. And for those that are not making you happy, you're actually hopeful that perhaps at some point in this togetherness that you have right now, you'll get to that point where you can be happy too. You get to that point where you can resolve whatever conflict that you have. It feels like right now there is not much of interaction between one another, even if you're in the same place, the same house, you can be existing together but maybe not really communicating to the level that you feel is needed or required here. Okay. I see you just going with the flow here. Your person on the other hand, it feels like there is this stubborn part, uh, stubbornness in their side as well that they won't really budge for whatever you're asking them or for whatever you're telling them that, um, you know, this needs to be improved or whatever that is. There is that sense of not wanting to budge here from your person's side. And possibly that is the reason why there is lack of emotional happiness here. There is dissatisfaction. Mm -hmm. And your person is feeling that, you know, with all the things that you may be telling them, saying them, or requesting from them, it is causing a lot of drama. And that they just want to rest for now. They don't want to face this. They don't want to be able to be bombarded with all the drama that, um, whatever that is. But on your side, the way I see it, it's just you're just trying to explain your side because you feel that this is the right thing to do or this needs to be put in place to keep your togetherness intact and to keep your togetherness functioning, especially at this time. I do see that this could be a relationship that you're both in the same place, the same house, but there's just lack of fulfillment in terms of emotions. There's lack of expression of love here. And just getting into the routine part of life and maybe you're getting into each other's nerves too. Mm-hmm. But fret not, because I see here that this could just be a face. Um, what I'm seeing here is that the best way you could actually um, address this is to put in that little um, passion towards your interaction with one another. Because there is love here. It's just that maybe it has fallen asleep during the lockdown, the expression of it. So if you put a little bit of passionate interaction or this could even be flirty um talks and all that so however you know however you do that put a little bit of passion spiciness in this connection because i see there is love here and maybe you're just getting into each other's nerves for now and i feel Taurus, that you're actually open for suggestions given that you're just hanging yourself upside down here to see a different uh, viewpoint and yeah if you need a view different viewpoint Put a little spice in it and see how that goes. Okay? So that's all I have for you. It's <laughs> This is fun. And um, I hope that gives you insights. If you need more readings, check out my readings in the end um, screens as well as in my YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell. And also share. Share this out. Um, that would help me a lot. And um, watch out for my WLC Weekly Love Connections reading every Friday. And those readings will come in with um, um, extended for those top readings that I do. Okay? And um, that's all I have for you. I wish you well. Bye now.